Good morning guys, how are you all doing? Let me do a bonus video for all of you today. It's going to be a fun video as you can see from the title. It's going to be a lot of fragrances. Uh, I have actually been asked to put up my top 10 uh, summer fragrances of all time, top most favorites. And I've got that like those messages like in my inbox, uh, some 10 fragrances, some top 5. You know, it's very difficult to do top 10 or top 5 from <laughs> so many fragrances. Uh, so you really have to prioritize what you like. And I just thought like, why not? You know, I'm not doing much of the work to the, nowadays. You know, like I'm chilling, you know, I got a lot of plenty of uh, free time. Uh, I got to rest a lot. So yeah, I'm in a good mood. The weather is kind of nice, stormy, cool weather. So let's do this video. And I have decided to put 25, not one, not five, not 10, not 15, not even 20, 25. The reason being, I want to include everything that I like at this current moment. So here's going to be the title. Top 25 fragrance of all time summer fragrances at this current moment kind of confusing right it yes fragrances they change you know with time rotation you know they change so at this current moment uh, i have looked at my entire collection there are a lot of fragrances that are more expensive i did not include them so i included mostly the affordable ones and high-end designer you know some of the affordable you know cheap fragrances as well so the ones i'm really wearing and mostly combination of some old some new fragrances i have done reviews on every single fragrance you just have to uh type the fragrance name i'll write down the list down the names and you just uh, followed by joy i mean so you search that in youtube you'll find my videos right so let's start it uh, so a few things first of all there is no uh, order okay not 25 although it was number one or something they're all preferable to me i love every single fragrance are that are in this list i actually am very sad so many of the fragrances didn't make the list because 30 would be too long right so uh, let's say the fragrance i really wanted to put it just give me a, give an example this is one of my latest acquisitions but i know this fragrance for a very long time i really love this lacoste white lacoste blanc it's so uplifting so simple so inexpensive but uh, just because it's new i gave priority to some other fragrances okay but fragrances like this this one and so a lot of other fragrances you'll see when you see them missing i have uh, decided to give them a rest so i went with these 25 right and uh, so this is going to be very quick i'll just try to talk uh, you know like uh, briefly on each of them because i reviewed them all so let's start with uh, number one number one i'm gonna go with dolce and gabbana number three uh, this is la le imperatrice the beautiful watermelon based fragrance i also get a lot of qe from this it's a summer heaven it's like a juicy uh a little bit synthetic vibe to it sometimes on the opening but dry down it's really gorgeous it lasts a long time summer days pure blessing it's literally like drinking watermelon juice so if you like the note of watermelon if you like Melissa imperial uh because that also has the note of watermelon uh try this fragrance out even though this is marketed for women but this is pretty unisex in my opinion for summer this list is for basically for summer because it's really hot now so dolce and gabbana number three la imperatrice number one <clears throat> Number two, this list has nothing to do with longevity also. It's just purely based on smell, how much I enjoy them, based on how much I like the way they smell basically, okay? And I, how much I use them. Number two, Nautica is the voyage. No need to talk about it much. It's ocean in a bottle. Beautiful blue color juice. Very inexpensive, now $30 uh, because price went up a little bit, but still worthy of having in your collection for hot summer's day. Nautica, voyage, number two. Number three, it's... Uh, Kind of like relative, but from a different company, Azara Chrome Legend. This fragrance, if you want a beast mode performer, this is a beast mode performer. It, if you want um, budget fragrance, inexpensive fragrance for like $30 or less budget, this is a fragrance, 125 ml. This is so long lasting, got the beautiful green apple, got the tonka, and it has some tea note in it. Very long lasting, simplistic, uniform, but one of the summer beast. This is my second or third bottle, I forgot totally. But this is discontinued but now, still can be found in Bangladesh if you look for your uh, local discounters, Azara Chrome Legend number 3. Number 4, I told you this is not in particular order, if it was, this fragrance would be much up, like in, in an order or something. So this is not in order, random pick. Sikke All, this is my most favorite, if not the most favorite, one of the most favorite fragrances from House of Calvin Klein. Uh, so gorgeous, it has the rhubarb added to the original CK1, just lovely. This is much less florals, much more fruity and musky, much longer lasting than CK1. I guess in a long time, CK released something really beautiful. CK all, highly recommended by me for summers. And it's unisex as well. 
all right so number five i'm gonna go with my beautiful beautiful fragrance this is a beauty in a bottle i love this fragrance a lot dolce gabbana the one edt this is the one that i pick for summers because this is the one that projects the most when your skin hits up gives a sort of tropical vibe fruity vibe amber and then the grapefruit beautiful blast of grapefruit as well as very uh cigar sort of feel it has a lot of dimensions and the fragrance is really beautiful very masculine very manly cuban havana cigar sort of i really love it i love pure heaven this is sort of think of like a, a summer version of pure heaven okay beautiful fragrance right now and it's just lovely you know no one hates this smell so in the summertime really enjoy it. dutch and gabbana the one edt that's number five number six this is the one aquatigio i think is the best from this line there are plenty of them i tried almost all of them profumo uh echo the absolute the latest one i haven't tried but i i have a i have a feeling this is the best still this is called essenza by aqua digio line from house of georgia armani i think it's discontinued now getting harder to find prices going up but if you really want aqua digio and uh, you really want to get one bottle from this line for summer beast mode aqua digio essenza number six I think number six, yes, number six. Number seven is one of the newer pickups. It's so easy to wear. It's very beautiful, non-offensive, so pleasant. It's built to love, okay? This is the modern cool water. This is called Wave. So why I picked it up, I've been spraying it a lot. This fragrance has good performance, much better than the original one, and it's much more pleasant, much more modern. It's, it's like uh, aquatic, fruity, floral, you know? Uh, not much floral as much as fruity, but very aquatic, very fresh, and very uplifting. Hot summer's day, this one really will cheer you up. Cool water, wave. Number seven. Number eight. Old fragrance back in the list. Abercrombie and Fitch, first instinct. My bottle is almost finished. I have been using this for two years now. Okay, This is one of the most pleasant scents for the summertime. It doesn't last on a lot of skins, I understand that, but the bottle is a masterpiece. It's like watery ripple effect. Juice color is very beautiful. It has some melon note, very exotic. And it just smells so good. It's like so airy, so fresh, and so beach sort of vibe, you know. And then the plate here, it looks very premium. So this is one of my favorite from Abercrombie and Fitch, this house. I do not like fears that much, but this definitely is nice. So it's a surprising entry in the list, but yeah, I used it a lot. So Abercrombie and Fitch, first instinct. All right, the next one. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number nine. New pickup. I think very new. <laughs> This is Daniel's Century. And this fragrance is going to see in a lot of my lists. And this is really beautiful. If you love Daniel's Icon, this is perhaps even better lasting power uh, on this one than the Icon. Very fresh, neroli. Uh, it has ambergris sort of feel. Got a little bit of pepper. Just lovely to wear. If you haven't smelt it, it's simplistic, but it's really beautiful. Daniel's Century. My next pick. All right. And from the right side, the last one. This fragrance had to make the list because it served me so well. I have two bottles of it. I had another bottle, which was finished, 50 ml. This is my 50 ml and this is my newer 200 ml. So this fragrance, basically a clone of Aqua DGO. I could easily uh, not include it in the list, but I thought, no, I got a lot of good projection, a lot of good performance, good memories. And I've been using this for a very long time. So this is one of the cheapest and nicest smelling fragrances in my arsenal, which is so good in summer. Perialis 360 degree red. All right, now it's time to move on to this right side. Right side, I mean, sorry, left side. A lot more uh, gems coming. Not in any particular order. Next one is Arm of Club Genuine Intense Man. No need to speak much about it. You guys know Aventus clone. But I think if you do not compare with Aventus, it's a great fragrance on its own for the budget. And that's how I say it. This is the French version. I have UAE version. I have the vintage version. I have a lot of bottles of this fragrance. And I went through a lot of bottles as well. It smells really nice, guys. You know, in the opening, it could be a little bit harsh. But on the dry down, it's just magical. Do not compare with Aventus. It's just beast mode summer fragrance, okay? Club New Intense Man has to be in this list. <clears throat> Next. I lost the like track so yeah i have not said <laughs> i don't know which one number 12 11 i lost track anyway so next one it's one of my newer purchases but i love this fragrance a lot this is perhaps my most favorite isimiak at this point this is called le bleu d'essai uh, as you can see the blue beautiful uh, blue bottle this is discontinued now 
and my great friend brother Michalis yeah I think I got it right this time he loves it it's a green fresh herbal sort of a fresh kind of fragrance imagine like uh, cool water but much better <laughs> projection longevity great and it's so uplifting it's so herbaceous it's like mm, mm. you know it got the note of cypress the moment you smell it you're like mm. it's like strong man it's like strong morpho <laughs> I am really pumped up when I talk about this one this is really not even expensive that's the best part of it 125 mil for very very affordable price range below 40 dollars cannot argue right Le Bleu Dese by Isimiyake next sentimental corner Polo Blue no matter what people say this is one of the best summer fragrances ever produced I can just literally grab it and just break it you know uh, that much I love it I, it will just splash all over my hand I will smell so good for a very long time aquatic ozonic people say there's a melon vibe and there's like cucumber I get mostly fresh oh so good guys you know if you haven't smelled polo blue the EDT go and give it a sniff this is so nice in the hot weather you know like aquatic ozonic and anytime you enter someone's room or something which is air conditioned people say that you know you just made the room fresher I got compliments like this from polo blue this is my third or fourth bottle I forgot but damn nice fragrance for summer one of my most popular or let's say most favorite fragrance for summer polo blue next one new no not new I have been knowing this fragrance for three years now uh, and this is sometimes like ups and downs you know sometimes it's I like it sometimes I do not like it sometimes I worry sometimes I do not worry but nonetheless great summer fragrance has to be in the list this is Rasa says Hawas Hawas uh, this is inspiration for another fragrance that is called Invictus Aqua. People often make a mistake. They say this one is clone of Invictus Aqua, but this is the inspiration behind Invictus Aqua. Very beautiful, uh, summery, uh, fruity, fresh, little bit Arabian touch to it. Very nice, uh, like a scent cloud around you when you wear it, you know. So it's very sexy fragrance. So, and it's not super cheap. I think around $60 now. But very good fragrance if you want a solid fragrance with a great bottle great metallic cap okay and then great juice color Rasa Hawas is something I would look at all right next I had to pick up one from Terre d'Hermes line and I was not sure which one's gonna pick I was gonna pick the EDT but this one actually uh, won the race this is my favorite bucket Terre d'Hermes or Très Fresh uh, the juice level is way down when this one runs out I'm gonna buy another 200 ml bottle why because it smells so good this fragrance it's so beautiful it's like so fresh it's just so i mean like something of uh, niche quality i would say if you know un jardin line it has that green mango note this one sort of feels like green orange you know it's like somewhere between ripe and sour green orange if you like oranges if you like citrus neroli if you like a little bit of a like a kick like a cardamom but which i believe is not in there but it sort of gives that masala sort of a uh, uh, orangey vibe it's like very zesty on a hot summer's day when it's raining a little bit perfect scent Terre d'Hermes or Tre Fresh next another beast even though it's performance not beast but projection is really best I this is my one of my signature scents Versace Purong if you haven't got it go and buy it <laughs> summer fragrances this is a king uh, if you like Chanel Elirum Sport better you can do it but this is gonna be this Look at the juice color gorgeous right it's just eye-catching yeah that's how I fell in love with this juice with that beautiful bottle and the juice color and the smell it just gets you compliments anywhere you go very simplistic scent but great fragrance for the price you cannot beat it Versace Purong one of my most favorite in summertime next new fragrance okay yeah relatively new it's not brand new Tocho and Gamana light blue all intense for men EDP uh, if you want a beast mode performer, if you want to smell like a man in summer, but fruity, a peppery, a little bit, and handsome, and something like blue sky, look at the juice color. If you want to smell like this, this is a fragrance to buy. Um, it just lasts a very long time, projects for a very long time, and the original one, the EDT, the light blue, I did not like it much. This, I love. I don't know how that works, but it works. <laughs> Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, all intense. Next. This one's not gonna miss out versace menu fresh i just reviewed it re-reviewed a few days back go back in the channel and check it out what are the things i have to say about this uh this is just pure joy in hot summer days more heat there is more humidity there is this is magical 
Versace Man U Fresh. It's basically lemon water or fresh water for summer. From now on, what if we're gonna see very strong contenders for any top five in anybody's list? Invictus Aqua, this is the original frosted glass version. Now I call it vintage. Just a matter of one year or two years and they already got vintage, very expensive now, very hard to find. If you can find this formulation, go and grab it. Beast more summer fragrance. Invictus Aqua, vintage. <clears throat> Next, Dior Sauvage. One of the best performers in Bangladesh because it's been talked too much, so I don't want to speak much about that. Uh, next one, Diorum Cologne. Okay, this fragrance, if you love lemon, this is one of the best lemon fragrances, most authentic lemonade, just to cool you down. It's something it works like EDC, but it doesn't project really much, but it stays on your skin for a very long time. And the quality of this juice is so good. If you like Mercedes Benz Cologne, you can buy that. It's much cheaper than this, maybe one third of the price. But the quality of this fragrance with the light mask, white florals, <sighs> sexy, hot hot days, you know, it's like you're sweating, you just need to cool down. Spray some on your neck, you're gonna be good, right? Dior Rome Cologne by House of, from the House of Dior. Moving on to the next one, Prada Alum. Okay, very easy. I did not choose Prada Amber this time because I think I like this little bit over Prada Amber these days because it has that wet iris sort of feel and it makes you feel so luxurious. There's nothing challenging about it. It smells like fresh laundry, fresh clothes, and very high class hotel, you know, it's relaxation, professional office. It's a staple. If you want a good uh, summer scent, which is good for office, Prada Long, blind by worthy. Take my word for it, very good performance too. Next one, last three left, right? Mansera Cedrad Boise. Uh, this is, uh, some people say clone of Aventus. Uh, it's better than Aventus, to my nose. It's just so good, it's juicy, it got that pineapple lemony sort of feel. It has some leather pop up later, but it's not like leather for winter. You can wait for winter. It smells darn good, projects last like crazy. Mansara gives you that. And 125 mil or 120 mil, I guess, rather, yeah. This fragrance will be much cheaper than Aventus, right? I could have picked up Elysium, I did not, because this one it fits the budget, right? So Cedrat Boise by Mansara. Second last one, Rasasi. This is always someday. Beautiful uh, pinkish sort of lavender colored juice. This is a clone or inspiration for uh, from Creed Silver Mountain Water, but better. It has a lot more playful notions to it. It's just so good. It's like a compliment magnet. You know, this is performer as well. It's clean, fresh, sweet, fruity. Uh, it's nothing challenging, but uh, it has some Arabian twist to it that makes it even better. All right, so Rasasi is one of the best fragrances I ever sniffed. Rasasi, always some day. Last but not least, this is a fragrance that uh, is lemon on steroids. If you want the best lemon based fragrance on the for the best performance, seven, eight, ten hours easy. This is a staple for you. This is Mansera Lemon Lime. My second bottle, my first bottle got finished. Uh, this fragrance is just a little bit of a dry down, got a little bit of something uh, like a green, I forgot, herbaceous sort of quality. But if you can go past that, it's just so good. It's like literally Durham Cologne, if you love this one. If you love this one, but you wish it like lasted and project a lot more, look no further. Lemon Lime by Mansera. So these are my top 25 summer fragrances, which I believe my favorite of all time at this current moment. Do let me know which ones you like and hope you enjoy the video. And I try to keep it under 20 minutes so you can, you can watch it. 25 colognes, I think I did all right. Take care, guys. See you soon. Enjoy the summer. Drink a lot of water. Drink coconut water. Uh, stay in the shade and uh, do not uh, work it too hard, right? See you soon. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.